Hey you guys, so I'm starting this perm around set on freshly co-washed detangled hair. And first I'm going to begin by applying some Hydrotherma Naturals Aloe Curl Enhancing Twist and Creamer to my hair. And I'm just going to work that in there. This product smells really, really good actually. And you could tell like, I could tell it defined my hair a little bit. And I didn't work it in that well. But next I'm going to use the Hydrotherma Naturals Hair Growth Oil. And I'm going to use the oil to seal in the moisture from the curling cream because my hair has been kind of dry lately. So... Once I'm done applying the products, I'm going to split my hair into six sections, just like I do with any other style. Okay, so now that I'm done sectioning my hair, I'm going to take a piece of hair and I'm going to spray it with water. You want your hair to be soaking wet. Next, I'm going to apply the Hydrotherma Naturals Foamy Sea Silk Curly Styler. Oh, that's a mouthful. But anyway, I'm going to apply that, and that's basically like a hair mousse, and that's what really sets the perm rod sets. You want to make sure that your hair is smoothed out while you roll the perm rod onto your hair for the best results. This styler was really easy to work through my hair. It smelled really good. All their products smelled really good to me. But it was really easy to work through my hair and it also didn't leave a weird feeling on my hair or on my fingers. I'm really happy that I didn't have to use a lot of product. I only took one pump for each perm rod. Because nobody wants to use a whole bunch of products and have build up. Notice how when I secure the perm rod, I clip the perm rod on the side where it's connected to the scalp. You want to do it on that side because if you do it on the loose side, it's going to roll out and it's not going to stay. It's going to be kind of wobbly. But if you secure it on the side where it's connected to the scalp, then it'll stay and you ain't got no problem or nothing. So now I'm finished riding my hair, and in total I have 37 perm rods. So now it's the next day, and my perm rods were dry when I started taking them down. But that's the key. You also want to make sure your hair is 100% dry when you do any type of style before you start messing with it. So now I'm just taking out the perm rods, and I'm just unrolling each rod. Now I'm going to apply the hair growth oil to my hands, rub it together and start rubbing it on my hair just so when I start separating I won't cause that much frizz, you know. So as you can see I'm just pulling apart each curl. I don't wrap the curls around my fingers or anything like that but what I do is I could feel wherever the hair wants to be separated and that's where I separate it. I don't over separate, I don't under separate. If you under separate then you're not going to have no volume really but if you over separate then you're going to have 
really bad frizz and yeah okay so as you can see my curls are really defi defined and you don't see any flakes oh my gosh you don't see any flakes also when i took my perm rods out my hair was not crunchy you know sometimes your hair be crunchy my hair was not crunchy it was just so soft and it's really bouncy and oh my gosh i just really like it So I'm done separating and this is how my curls look. Oh my gosh, they look so good. And the red makes it pop. Like, oh my gosh. But no, it's like too flat for me. So, you know, me always gotta have my pick on here. Start fluffing out my roots. You don't go all the way because then you'll mess up your curls. This is my perm rod set. You can leave it like this if you want, but I don't think I'm going to. I'm gonna show you guys my go-to style whenever I do these kind of, you know, sets or whatever. So I'm going to do two braids. I'm going to start by separating my hair. I don't know if y'all caught on. I never use a comb. I just don't really care to. So I'm just going to start parting my hair with my fingers. When you're parting your hair, you want to be careful because you don't want to ruin the curls that are not going into the braid. You're just It's going to mess up the whole look. So now I'm going to take my Eco Styler Gel, the little gel I always use in all my videos, start brushing my hair out. Then up, do a cornrow. I don't braid it down all the way because you still want it to blend in with the curls. So I'm just going to tuck it behind my ear and then bobby pin it. And you can leave your hair like this if you want. This is also a cute style, but I'm going to show you how I do the other side. So now I'm just basically going to do the same thing on this side. Don't like how the top of my hair is falling over my braid, so I'm gonna take a bobby pin and just pin it back a little bit, and it looks 10 times better. And that's how I do my perm rod sets. My hair is very defined, bouncy, voluminous, all that. And I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. Thank you so much. Well, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.